Before Jesus was born, supernaturally, angels proclaim his coming. White men from the east also talk about his coming. Jesus came through the intellectuals, through the occult. Actually, it was the occult that declared his coming. It was the occult, yes. They declared the coming of Jesus. Wise men. Magic. That's how they found out that he was born. So they worshipped Jesus. So nobody has any right not to worship this Jesus we're talking about. The occult horoscope. That was what they used. They seen his star in the east. That's what they said. And they came to worship him. What about you? What about you? It will be for your best, for the better of you. For you to fulfill your destiny. Christmas. It is not only for shopping. It is not only for holidays. It is not about a Christmas tree. It is not about the light things. It is not about the gifts you even give. It is about the Son of God coming to look for you. Amen. And you engaging with him. Amen. When the wise men saw from the east, wise men, king from the east, they came looking for him. Now he's looking for you. Angels declared his coming. Heaven talks about the coming of Jesus. They came. They came. Jesus came for you. 
we come, always talk about Bethlehem. There's no room for him in the inn. No room for him in the whole nation. No, in the whole nation, there was no room for Jesus as a baby to be born. Do you have room in your heart for him? Or are you another mini Bethlehem? Are you another mini Bethlehem that has no room in your heart for the Lord, the Savior of mankind? Jesus loves you. It is recorded, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, who manifested during Christmas period. Jesus came because he loved you. The other day I asked, a lot of people are giving gifts, which is important. But are you doing it out of a duty? Or are you doing it because you love? Jesus came because he loves you. He's mindful, he cares about you. He said, I did not come to condemn the world. I came that through me, the world might be saved. Amen. We are standing here, not for condemnation. We are standing here just to redirect you again, which was the main reason Jesus came, to redirect man back to God. <coughs> Open your heart to the Lord. Open your heart to Jesus. Open your heart. Yet you might be confused with a lot of things being displayed right now. Others saying there is no God. Others saying there are different ways to get there. Others saying different kind of things. What do you say? Because it's a matter of the heart. Jesus Christ is a relationship. We are not talking about going to a particular location yet. We are talking about you inviting the Lord into your heart. How do you do that? Lord Jesus, I invite you into my heart. I invite you to my heart. This thing these people are talking about every day. Okay, Jesus. <laughs> and that's all. Yes. That is a, a so special way of um, telling somebody to be your friend. You might say it differently. Another man might propose in a different way. All is proposal, you know, proposal. Propose to the Lord. Amen. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. The Bible says, take and see that the Lord, Lord is good. good. Take. If you take and you don't like it, then, got nothing to lose. Nothing to lose. But I must make it clear to you that God loves you so very much. We cannot overemphasize the love of God for you. A lot of people have gone through harrowing issues. They don't have any confidence in anything anymore. I don't blame you. And I'm sorry that you went through those situations. But you know what? God can take away the pain and the remembrance of what happened to you. Not only that, He will save you, He will heal you, He will give you joy. I like the song, Joy to the World, the Lord is come. Amen. And you know the wording of it is, let us receive her king. Let us, the king of kings is here. Yes, he was born in a manger. But you know what? It didn't end there. The birth of Jesus was not the end of it. And then he healed everybody that was sick. And then he was against wickedness. He was against injustice. He was against all things that are not right. 
Not only that, he fought physically and fought spiritually. Victorious. And was victorious at the end. Amen. And he came out and said, All power! All power! In heaven and on earth is given unto me. Amen. Now you go in my name. Amen. So that's the authority. God loves you. And the good thing about giving your life to Jesus is that the plan of God that you love, maybe in the Garden of Eden, somewhere in your part of life, God will restore it back again. God will restore back your life. Amen. Jesus loves you. Just invite him into your heart. Make a proposal to Jesus this afternoon. Jesus, Jesus. okay. That's it. When I gave my life to Christ as a military kid, I all I did was, Lord, I decamped from the from the camp of Satan, and I encamped with you. That was my proposal to the Lord. I decamp and I encamp. Give your life to Christ. And if you say yes, Jesus, this afternoon, I pray for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Whatever the issue, the pain in your life, I command it to go in the name of Amen. Jesus. I bring healing to you, spirit, soul, and body, in the name of Jesus. I say be free from condemnation in the name of Jesus. I say be whole in your mind. Be whole in your body in the name of Jesus. I seek life. I seek resurrection to your body parts in the name of Jesus. Where you've had pain and confusion, I say peace be still in the name of Jesus. Where you are too troubled, you don't know what to do. Jesus Christ said, come unto me, all you that are worried, all you that are troubled, all you that don't know what to do with your life. Come to me. Come to me, and I will give you rest. Yes. Then take unto me, take unto you, my yoke. It's easy to bear. The yoke of the Lord Jesus is easy to carry. Amen. It's easy because then it gives you authority to handle demonic issues. Amen. That's power. And it gives you power. power. And it gives you fire. fire. And we take authority this afternoon in the name of oh, Jesus. Jesus. Every genetic issue in your life we no command it to normalize in the name of Jesus. Diabetes go in the name of Jesus. You be healed in Jesus' name. Headache go in the name of Jesus. Migraine go in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be free. In the name of Jesus. Be made every week whole. In the name of Jesus. We release the power of the resurrection. To your body part. In the name of Jesus. Where you are troubled. Where you have issues. Where. I mean the doctor has given you a diagnosis. Fantastic. Be whole in the name of Jesus. Amen. You're looking good, you know. Wow, yeah. You do. Wow. You do. Wow. You do. 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 You do.